Hello everyone. So today we'll be solving a question related to integration. So it's got some trigonometric uh, relations as well. So wait a minute. Uh, is, is there being a problem to put the dot? Yes. Now it's right. So this is the question. Uh, so uh, I've talked. I've done questions like this in my previous videos as well, and that I'll remind you of the tip once again. You'll try to change this question in the form of sine and cos and then uh, divide it by cos square x or cos square x over 2 and then try and change it in the form of tan and sec so that way the derivative of tan would be sec square x and things get simpler i'll show you how so first of all uh, you can you can write 2 as 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 can be written as cos square x plus sine square x. But if you do so, then this sine x will become a problem. You can try solving it that way as well, but then I'm very sure that this sine x will later on become a problem. Uh, you'll have, uh, you'll change the sine x. When it sine x gets divided by cos square x, it becomes tan x sec x. And then when you suppose uh, tan x to be some variable then sec x remains there as a problem. So what you can do is you can instead change it into the form uh, of 1 over 2x. So is equal to what I'm seeing is dx over 2 cos square x over 2 half the angle plus sine square x over 2. I don't know why but then I'm having some problem adding the dot and yes plus sine x can be written as 2 sine x over 2 multiplied cos x over 2. Let's write this cos properly. Yes, so is equal to. Now, uh, what you can do is multiply this with this, then this with this, and you can see that you have two common here. So first of all, what we can do is you don't even need to multiply. So 1 over 2 is common dx over cos square x over 2 plus sine square x over 2 plus sine x over 2 cos x over 2. Yes, so now after this what you can do is uh, divide and multiply both the sides by cos square x over 2. So that way, uh, what I'm trying to see is divide this by cos square x over 2, and then you, you can do this just to understand. You know, so this cos square x over 2 moves up, and the, it becomes uh, 6 square x over 2 because 1 over cos square x over 2 is 6 square x over 2. So you can understand it that way is equal to 1 over 2 uh, sec square x over 2 dx over so cos square x over 2 divided by cos square x over 2 is 1 plus sine square x over 2 divided by cos square x over 2 would be 10 square x over 2 I hope you're following whatever I'm doing and then sine x this one let's change the color now so sine x over 2 times cos x over 2 divided by cos square x over 2 uh, would be um, it would be sine x over 2 by cos x over 2 so that would be 10 x over 2 so nothing very difficult over here it's uh, pretty pretty simple so yeah so now let's move to the other page and then now what you can do is now let's suppose let 10 x over 2 as any variable p so if you are differentiating p with respect to x then you will get 1 over 2 uh, 6 square x over 2 you can do this derivative on your own it's not uh, very difficult it's pretty simple so that way dp this 2 goes this side, so it would be 2dp is equal to sec square x over 2 times dx. So 
6 square x over 2 times dx is over here as well and we can substitute the value as 2 dp is equal to uh, 2 dp we have the 1 over 2 over tan x over 2 is p so what we can do is 1 plus p square plus p this 2 cancels this 2 so is equal to what we now have is dp over let's re assemble them p plus 1 yes so now we have to try and uh, change it in the form of a square plus x square or where a is a number or x square minus a square or something like that because we have studied formula related to this so is equal to what we are going to try and do is p square remains as it is let's change p let's try to put it in the form of a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square so that would be a square plus 2 a b this 2 and this 2 cancel each other out so that way what we will have is we'll have the original form so we're just trying to match this original form so 2 a square plus 2 a b plus b square and this number uh, is something we added ourselves it's not present here so we will have to cut it out using minus so this way this and this cancel each other out but that's not what we are trying to do here so and the one that we have in the question remain as it is so again dp over so what we will have now is p plus 1 over 2 whole square we are using these three terms and if you uh, compute these two then what you will have is uh, 3 over 4 so if we want to put it in the square form then what you can write is 3 over 2 root 3 over 2 so let's write this properly uh, root 3 over 2 whole square so yes now it makes sense let's go to the other page let's change the color is equal to I hope it's not very difficult and I hope you remember the formula of uh, dx let's say a square plus x square I've talked about this formula previously as well it involves tan square x uh, over a 1 over a this is the formula for this of course integration constant so we are just going to apply that formula over here and you might be worrying that we don't exactly have x over here or p over here we have p plus 1 over 2 but then that's not a problem you can consider it as p so what we will have now is 1 over a a is 3 over 2 uh, tan inverse uh, it is x over a so over here x is p plus 1 over 2 over root 3 over 2 plus c is equal to this 2 moves upwards so 2 over root 3 times tan inverse x if you take lcm of this and this what you will have is 2 p uh, plus 1 over root 3 this uh, 1 over 2 is 2 and this 2 cancel each other out of course plus the integrational constant and finally we're just going to replace the value of p p is something we introduced for making this solving process easier so it would be 2 tan x over 2 plus 1 over root 3 plus c so there you go this is the final answer to this question uh, not very difficult all you have to remember is that tip i told you you're going to change it in the form of sine and cos and then divide it by cos square so that you get it in the form of tan and sec sec square most often so yeah that's what we did here and i hope you learned how to do this and hope to see you in my next videos thank you